Hello everyone, my name is Fox. Once again we're taking a look at the GPD Win Max. This time we're taking a look at Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, you can see some artifacting happening right here. This is because of the DirectX 12 backend that we're using to run Red Dead Redemption 2. Unfortunately, uh, DirectX 12 is the only backend that is running, the only API that is not crashing uh, on Red Dead Redemption 2 with the latest Intel graphics drivers. Uh, Vulkan does run a bit faster, but pretty much right at this point it will instantly crash and I'll get a graphics error, uh, graphics state error. There's been a bunch of different settings to try to use and put in, um, but uh, so like one of the one of the suggestions was disable your antivirus. Did that. One of the other suggestions is uh, ignore pipeline cache as a command line argument. I did that as well. Uh, literally a bunch of different settings that other people have tried using and uh, even like BES this application to kind of um, stop uh, I don't slow to all I see um, to kind of corral and augment the how much processing power is devoted CPU wise to Red Dead, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 nothing stopped the crashing for Vulcan, Vulcan. Um, so unfortunately, here I am just having to kind of reconcile and just use DirectX 12. Additionally, if you guys are taking a look at like the lantern here, uh, you should be able to see a ton of pixelation happening. That's because of my extreme uh, low spec settings that I've done here. I will just put my XML settings in the description field below that you'll be able to copy and paste if you wish. Uh, ideally, by the time that you guys get your maxes, um, there are later Intel drivers that have Vulkan fixed for Red Dead Redemption 2, or there's an update for Red Dead Redemption 2 that fixes this entirely, which would be ideal, uh, as Vulkan, again, does run better. Uh, the resolution that I'm running right now is 600, uh, 640 by 400. <laughs> Someone just tried popping into this room. Um, so we are running at half the resolution of the screen, plus on top of that, additional low spec settings. Again, you'll see them in the description field. Uh, so all things told, it still does look pretty good. I do apologize that I'm recording in such a dark environment. Uh, the reason that I do that is because of the dark setting of this game and my camera's uh, inability to combat the external lighting with trying to capture the accurate color and really harsh contrasting elements here so that's why I have the lights turned off right now I will turn my lights back on when we go to take a look at the settings that I'm using uh, and on top of that the other application that I'm using now for anyone that who's followed my channel previously um, like if you look at my GPD win one videos for Doom or Fallout 4 and the lengths that uh, I went to to get that running I'm using this a similar application called Touch Zoom Desktop. The reason that I'm using that is that we are in effect zooming in to um, maximize a windowed screen. If I use this resolution in full screen, obviously it no longer respects that resolution that I set. And borderless window is kind of tucked away on the side, so it becomes unusable. The only way that I've been able to manage to get the full screen uh, has been to basically zoom into a windowed uh, instance. For most, for the most part, how, how you're looking at it right now, it runs and operates just fine. So as you can see right here, we are just kind of using it as as one would. Um, and I'll go further on so you can kind of see in this very video how it kind of works. Uh, it works as you would expect. Basically, you're going to want to disable mouse scrolling and keyboard. Uh, keys to ma uh, zoom in or out and you're just going to use your fingers to pinch and zoom and it works pretty well uh, and again for people that have been that are not new to my channel will have seen that before for people that are new to my channel and are seeing this video for the first time seeing Red Dead Redemption 2 run on a, on a handheld and again you can kind of see this little light over here my fingers kind of covering it it's right over here um, that is the power for the GBD Win Max itself Additionally, you can kind of see the backlight keys are super dim. Uh, it's more also the exposure settings of my camera set to very low, so that I'm not really capturing that very well. We'll capture a few more minutes of this. 
The game actually does look pretty impressive despite the fact that we are running at such an extremely low resolution. So that's pretty cool, but also I'll, I'll keep this game installed and kind of keep tabs on it as Intel drivers get updated and see if we can't get better performance uh, as soon as Vulkan works and doesn't crash immediately. Again, for people that are new to my channel, on the top left you're going to see a HUD that shows you all of the metrics of the game that's running right now. So it, we are, again, running DirectX 12. We have our uh, frame rate, our frame time, the CPU package temperature. Right now we're at 65 degrees Celsius. CPU package power currently being used, which is 20 watt. Uh, PL1, which is 26 watt. Uh, that's the maximum ceiling that I'm telling um, the chip it's allowed to use as its basement ceiling. Uh, so there's PL1 and PL2. I realize that basement ceiling is not <laughs> the best words to use, but basically I'm telling the system, go ahead, use up to 26 watts, no problem. There is no other restriction. So it's always going to try to use that amount of power. The reason that we're not going up to 26 watts is that we are GPU starved and our CPUs are not really necessary here. They're not going to give us any more performance. It's just that the GPU is pegged, as you can see on the GPU clock there, it's pegged at 1050 megahertz, which is the top end line for the 1035G7 Ice Lake chip that's on the WinMax itself. So that's kind of why that package power is kind of around 21 watt. Uh, it's because at this low resolution, it's kind of hitting as much as it can, and the CPUs are not going to do diddly. We'll capture about another three more minutes of this before I'll I'll go ahead and go to what my settings are and I'll show you how that works. Follow Dutch. Let's go Dutch. Move it like molasses. Let's see if I can improve this anyway. I'm just going to change the exposure real quick and see if I can't brighten this up. I'm going to go ahead and lock down that zoom. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm trying. left trigger. That's another thing. Even though we could go lower in resolution, it really wouldn't be advisable because, as you can see, we are barely approaching that text is not really super legible. Oh, it's on. Boom! <laughs> Get in the cover. Where did he run off to? What are they pressing, telling me to press? Examine. Oh, it's Y. Oh, yeah, you can 
can see like the artifacting right there. Take it all. You can see a bunch of artifacting happening. Uh, I've never been able to get this far in with the uh, Vulcan. I do know that I had no artifacting with anything in Vulcan. And all these triangles. Alright, I think this is a good enough representation of performance. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. Let me put on the lights. All right, and welcome back. So here we are. This was running on the GPD Win Max, and if I just do this, you can see the actual resolution. You can also see me. Hey guys, um, this is the actual resolution that we're running at. Yeah, go ahead and close that. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys. So the program that we use right here is um, Touch Zoom Desktop. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Can we? Please. Oh, I have my exposure locked. Huh. There we go. Uh, See, so yeah, that's Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, that is there. That This is basically the secret sauce. So you can kind of just zoom in with, with this, and that's how we were able to basically run at a very low resolution. Uh, the settings that I use, let me go ahead and switch this over to mouse mode so I can use this. We'll go to documents. Uh, Rockstar Games and settings and it's right here now remember that anytime that you update these settings that you should change this to read only otherwise the game will override it because it's gonna say say hey I don't like that uh, so if we just go here uh, you can see right there that uh, the resolution is 640 by 400 as well as a bunch of other low settings I'm gonna go ahead and just copy everything in here and send it in the description field uh, but that's it. So, yeah, you can play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the GPD Win Max. Uh, it will require heavy tweaks. Uh, ideally, we wait until there's an update from either Intel or Rockstar themselves to make it run better uh, with Vulkan. Because you also saw a bunch of artifacting with DirectX 12. Uh, so, yeah, you can play it. Ideally, we wait until it's fixed. Anywho, as always, guys, thank you for your time. And thanks for watching.